multiplication and division. In the previous classes, we have read a lot about multiplication. We learnt multiplication up to four digit number by a three digit number. Now let us multiply a five digit number by a one. So let us multiply thirty eight thousand seven hundred and forty five by eight. First, arrange the numbers as shown, and then proceed as follows. Step one. Now multiply five ones by eight. Five ones into eight is equal to forty ones, which is equal to four tens plus zero ones. So carry over four to tens column and write zero. Step two. Now multiply four tens by eight. So four tens into eight is equal to thirty-two tens. Thirty-two tens plus four tens is equal to thirty-six tens, which is equal to three hundreds plus six tens. So write six under the tens column and carry over th step three. Now multiply seven hundreds by eight. Seven hundreds into eight is equal to fifty-six hundreds plus three hundreds, which is equal to fifty-nine hundreds, and that is equal to five thousands plus nine hundreds. So we write nine under the hundreds column and carry step four. Now multiply eight thousands by eight. Eight thousands into eight is equal to sixty-four thousand plus five thousands is equal to sixty-nine thousands, which is equal to six ten thousands plus nine thousands. So we write nine under thousands column and carry over step five. Finally, multiply. Three ten thousands by eight. Three ten thousands into eight is equal to twenty-four ten thousands plus six ten thousands, which is equal to thirty. Write zero under ten thousands column and three under the lakhs column. So thirty-eight thousand seven hundred and forty-five multiplied by eight is equal to. Three lakhs nine thousand nine hundred. Similarly, we can multiply a six-digit number by a one-digit number. Let us multiply seven lakh thirty thousand four hundred and twenty-one by five. We arrange the numbers in columns and multiply as usual. So seven lakh thirty thousand four hundred and twenty-one multiplied by five is equal to thirty-six lakhs fifty-two thousand one hundred. Now let us multiply nineteen thousand two hundred and twenty-five by twenty-five. We multiply nineteen thousand two hundred twenty-five by five and twenty respectively. Then we add these two partial products to get. Thus, nineteen thousand two hundred and twenty-five into twenty-five is equal to four lakhs eighty thousand six hundred and twenty. Let us multiply four thousand eight hundred ninety-two by three hundred fifty-nine. We have three hundred fifty-nine as three hundred plus fifty plus nine. So we multiply four thousand eight hundred and ninety-two by nine, fifty, 
and 300 respectively. Then we add these three partial products to get the required product. Thus we get 17 lakhs 56,000 let us multiply 7,887 by 5,430. Here we have 5,437 equal to 5,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus... So we multiply 7,887 by 7, 30... 400 and 5000 respectively. Then we add these partial products to get the re So required product is 4 crores 28 lakhs 81,609. Let us now discuss some properties of multiplication. Changing order of the factors does not change the product. Let us see some examples. Changing the grouping of the factors does not change the product. Let us see examples. The product of one and a number is the same number. Let us see the examples. The product of zero and a number is zero. Let us see some examples. To multiply a number by ten, hundred, thousand, and so on, we insert one, two, three, and so on zeros respectively to the right of the number. Let us see some examples. To multiply a number by 20, 30, 200, 400, 5000, etc., we first multiply the number by the non zero digit, that is, the leftmost digit of the multiplier. To the right of this product, we put as many zeros as. See the given examples here for this. 